Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to program an application that checks whether a number is an integer. So right now I'm going to put a number into this form, so let's say I put 3.5, click check, it tells me that it's not an integer, and then if I go back and I change the 3.5 to a 3, it tells me that it is an integer and it works with negative numbers as well so negative 3 is an integer but negative 3.89 is not an integer so I'm now going to show you guys how this program works well firstly we have an HTML form All right, that's the first that's the HTML page that you can see and the important part is that I'm sending the data to a PHP file and the data that I'm sending is in a text box called value. Okay, so now let's go to our PHP file and you can see here I'm going to show you what to do from here. So basically I've now accepted the data that was sent to the PHP file and I've put it into the into a variable with the name input and now we're going to check whether input is an integer so the way you do that is you use an if statement okay so you say if <coughs> the input variable is equal to now here's the function that you're going to use to check whether it's an integer or not you're going to use the function floor right so what does the floor do what does floor do so the floor function, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the input variable as input to the function. And what this is doing, what the floor function is doing, it's it's getting rid of all the decimal, all the numbers after the decimal point. So for example, if the input was 3.428, right, if the input was 3.428, then the output is going to be 3 right that's what the floor function does right for the floor function if the input is whatever decimal number for example 7.8954 then the outputs just going to be 7 right so it's a really useful function for getting rid of all the numbers after the decimal point so by using the floor function I've now uh, gotten rid of all the numbers after the decimal point notice that this is different to rounding we're not rounding it up or we're rounding it down basically okay so um, so yeah we got rid of all the numbers after the decimal point and now we're checking whether the input number is equal to the output of the floor function right so what that means is, for example, if your input was 7, then the if your input was 7 and you put 7 into the floor function, you're going to get 7. So these um, two variables will equal, right? But if you input 7.6, right, and the output is 7, then these two things won't equal. So that's why. Um, we're going to use this if statement to check whether the inputs equal to the output. If it is equal to the output, then um, then we're going to say uh, your number is an integer. Otherwise, we're going to say otherwise we're going to say your number is not an integer. Okay and obviously this whole section is not code so I'm gonna comment it out okay so now I'm gonna upload this file control shift U to upload in Dreamweaver right, and I'm gonna check it online for you again just to make sure that it's working so if I put in 3 check it's an integer if it's uh, 3.8 Let's try something else. 10.57. Your number is not an integer. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.